morning guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is elizabeth david this is my husband david we are in venice italy right now with the up ultimate break it is like five in the morning and we are all ready to go we have a professional photographer book this morning for pictures we have to go downstairs and get a taxi and then we're gonna make our way over there but that is just like the start to the morning and we'll keep you guys updated with what we see and do today we have a super busy packed day but we're gonna run late if we don't go downstairs so i'll see you in a bit all right guys we made it we are at the rialto bridge we are doing our pictures here right there we are struggling this morning we've decided to do like an e-sim this time instead of like use our own data it is not not working out great but that's okay we are going to meet our photographer her name is olga we found her through flytographer flytographer is what we usually use for all of our sessions when we book a photographer like in another country and so her pictures looked great and we're excited we got to take our taxi here and then we walked to this point it took like 20 25 minutes to walk nice walk it is so quiet like we were walking it was still like dark out the sun was still coming up i like your footsteps yeah because like there's the no people walking yeah there's no like cars obviously the boats are starting to run now that it's like past six but it has been so quiet like you can hear anything so we're gonna go to the meeting point now we are so excited we can't wait other things we're going to do today we're going to meet our group for a walking tour of venice and go to like a glass blowing demonstration and have some food <laughs> and a uh, wine tasting later today yeah we have two of our optional tour director excursions so we have a wine tasting and gondola. a gondola ride so that's what we're up to today guys we're done with our pictures it was so fun our photographer took us like all the way around we only had a 30 minute session book but i feel like she gave us like a lot a lot of extra time but we're just like walking around exploring we taking stopped. pictures of my beautiful wife <laughs> we stopped and had an espresso shot <laughs> and Asked him for her. we don't drink coffee so we heard someone say espresso and i I heard just like, say, yeah, so I'm like, like the tiniest little thing. Give we us a like, shot of espresso. Oh. And I'm like, now we're awake. It's probably better <laughs> that we got that because now we're both extremely awake. Um, and then we also got, what are they called? The little croissants. Yeah. Like a, one of the big ones. Mine, mine had chocolate in it. And mine was plain. Cause he told me he wasn't sure if I could have the chocolate one with my allergies, which is whatever. Um, but I got this little like air stick thing from TikTok. I'm sure you've seen them around and we've been using it for little pictures and videos of us with my phone today and it's been so cute. It's been very fun. But we have like, what, an hour? Probably less. How much yeah. time? 45 minutes. Like 45 minutes until we meet the group. So we're going to start making our way over there, stopping, taking pictures, taking videos, just enjoying it, having fun. And that's the plan. Can you just take a second to appreciate how beautiful Elizabeth looks today?
Alright guys, we are done Ooh. with our walking tour. We, we went around and explored and then we ended at the glass blowing place. We got to see a demonstration which was pretty cool. Um, they had like a gift shop and stuff to buy things there. But it's way expensive. So we just went to a little souvenir shop and got us an ornament for Christmas. It's like a circle. Um, it's like a glass ornament with like a circle candy cane and then in the middle there's like a gondola with Santa Claus on it. It's so Santa cute. Santa rolling his it's little boat. It's very cute. Look at the... He wrapped it like look at the, really good. The guy was so nice. He was like, Merry Christmas. Look at Christmas. the wrap job on this thing. Like it's not that big but it's wrapped two or three times in paper and then two times in um, bubble wrap. Yeah, he did a really so, good job. Very nice guy. During our walking tour, we learned that the like main square area, depending on the type of the time of year you're here, they have like things. They look like sewer drains, but they have holes in them. And water rises on high tide days. And like, if you're here, you just like walk through the water, which is wild. Crazy. But we are just like gathering with our group again, and we are about to go to our four directors optional excursion, which is riding riding the gondola. And it was 45 euro each. So I'm happy. That's our little update. with our gondola ride such a dream so fun it was 45 euro per person I'm glad so glad I did it It was beautiful I don't think I'd ever do it again if I was here just because one and done is good for me and the other gondolas like around the city are 80 euro to 100 euro I think per thing so I think we could have technically done it a little cheaper but it was so nice being with other people from our group because then we could take photos for each other so we love that but it was fun we're gonna go in this little restaurant here to get some lunch lovely little lunch and we've gone with our group we have free time of like three hours we've been walking around and exploring with our group and then we went to like this store that you see all over TikTok with like the steps made out of books we went there and we got a children's book in English and it looks so cute so we're excited we got these in Australia and New Zealand um, like books came with a bookmark came with a bookmark for um, our future babies maybe we'll make one on the trip but <laughs> This is uh, the book we got. Maybe that the store is called. I don't know, but that's our update. We have part of our group is going in here and getting some tiramisu, and then we're gonna go get some authentic gelato um, down the street. Authentic is when it's like in the like metal containers and not, thank you, like stacked on top and super colorful and stuff. So that's our plan, and then we're gonna. Meet back up, go back to the hotel, rest for about an hour, freshen up, and then head to the winery for the wine tour. You say you don't want to get in trouble, that you don't find cause you got me. I don't want to break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see. back to our hostel it is freaking hot here hot 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 we've been sweating all day in the city center area you there are hardly any trash cans you cannot sit down like we would sit down on these steps and the police would come over and like say like 
no, you can't sit there. You have to get up and move. And so I would ask, I asked them and said, where can we go sit? And the guy was like, the other side of the building. So we got up and walked to the other side of the building to sit on the steps. And then we were yelled out again. So we've been standing literally all day. It is so hot. We took a gondola ride back to the bus area and then hopped on the bus. And now we are at our hostel and we have about 45 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. 45 minutes before we're going to our next optional excursion set up by our tour director. It's 45 year old person and it's like wine tasting and then a three course dinner. Um, and so we have to take a bus ride to get there. And so I think we're gonna like relax in here for a little bit and then hop on the bus and just go, go, go again. We changed. I am back in my dress from last night because I was just gonna wear what I've been wearing all day long, but she, our tour director said it's gonna be really hot and recommended changing into a short dress. So I'm like, we'll just re-put on what we had on last night. Um, but what I wanted to say before I forgot was that the photos this morning, we booked them through Flytographer, which I know I already said, if I didn't share them in the video earlier, I'll do it now. But if you are interested in booking a trip or a booking <laughs> a session with them on one of your travels, they have flightographers in the States. I'm one from Cincinnati. We did one for New York, uh, but we have used them all over the world basically. But if you are wanting to book photos on your next trip, I have a code down below and I think it gets you $25 off your like session with them. So if I influence you, use the code. Also, while I'm at it, I am an ambassador for EF. They do not pay me to say anything or make these videos or ask me to do any of that. But if I influence you to book a trip with them and it's your first trip with them, you can use my link down below and get $100 off your trip. So you should do that because then I can keep making these videos and education tools for you. But we are headed to the winery. So we made it to the winery and they said we could taste some of the grapes right off of the vine. <laughs> guys i forgot to end the vlog last night but i'm remembering tonight this wine tour was so much fun so good we are like at a family winery so it's a fourth generation owner and we had like him come out and talk about all of the wines and then his dad come out and like sing to us and it was just so sweet so we ordered bottles to ship back home so we ordered six bottles and i think it was like 160 euro which is a little more than we usually spend on souvenirs for a trip but I think everyone at home will enjoy them. We think it's worth the investment. We're really excited. I was texting my friend and saying like about, you can go over there if you wanna go over there. <laughs> it's that way. You have to go around the corner and then it's parked over there. No, you're okay. <laughs> um, we, I was texting my friend and like asking her what she wanted to like get stuff for her, but we ordered six bottles and five of them were giving away as like gifts to people. So I'm very excited, but it's a 10 out of 10 would recommend the, all of the food that we got. Like we had a three course meal included with the wine tastings. We tasted five wines. Um, and by tasted, I mean like we had full glasses. It was not like just a little sip. Um, but we had to start, we had like these little pizza things and then some chips and then cheese. And then we had like a pasta dish with vegetables in it. It was a vegan pasta and all the vegetables and stuff were grown in the garden here. And they made the pasta and it was just ugh, so good. And then we had some sort of like apple something for dessert. I didn't love, love, love that. But someone at our table said it tasted like pie and I also don't love pie. So I'm thinking that is what 
uh, similar to what that was, but 10 out of 10 recommend. This was so fun. I feel like it was very authentic. We felt like we were sitting in like their living room and like they would come out and sing to us and it was just awesome. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, be sure to use my links down below if you want to either book a session with Flytographer anywhere they have all sorts of photographers all sorts of places all over the world and then if you want to book a trip with ef um you get a hundred dollars off down below but that is it for today's video be sure to subscribe to my channel tomorrow we will be going to leaving venice going to milan but we are stopping in verona and seeing like juliet's balcony and stuff so that is where we will be um going tomorrow we should have a fun fun day and i'm very excited but thank you for watching today's video and i will see you guys next time. Bye!